Alright, hey, it's me again, and I'm back with a vlog. It's good to be back. Um, I haven't been recording in a while because I have been um, doing a lot of NaNoWriMo. I'm actually a little ahead currently. I haven't written for today, but that's okay. I'm going to write in like probably about 20 minutes here. 10-ish, less. I'm pushing my luck today. <laughs> um, but I've been doing a lot of stuff for... Cause I actually started my tarot study today, which I have in my bullet journal here. It's just a... You can see all the empty little squares for um, my thing. But that's what I did today. That was my... Um, today's card, which was... Um, if you want to see it, it's also on my WordPress, but this is the card. It's from a very cool deck that I have. And I really love it. So, whew. And then I have my rune dice also, which are, if anyone's confused, what rune dice look like. <laughs> there's four dice with a rune on each side. All but the blank rune, so. That's fine with me. Because that is cool. And then, I always, like, I actually grabbed and added a few extra pens for my little collection here. I grabbed a purple, a teal, and a darker orange. And I also nabbed a little case for all of my cool pens, my bullet journaling pens, I call them. And, let's see, in my book of shadows, But what I need to add is this. So it's what I got with the rune dice. It tells me what runes are on each dice. So I need to stick that in there somewhere and describe what it is or else I'll be confused. Like why do I have that in there later? And then let's grab out my normal master lectum. Um, ooh, oh, I just went way ahead of that. I've never shown this. But I this is my first page. It's a picture of me from when I was a little kid. Making a wish on a dandelion. And this is my books to read list. I have a lot more books that I need to add on here. But I'll show you what I have on that list already. Which um oh crud. I need to I should have put these books closer to me. <laughs> Like it's like yoga over here, but that big this this little box right here is for this book right here, the Sagas of the Icelanders. Oh man, that is going to be one hell of a read. Although it's not going to be too bad because the text is yeah, it's fairly small, but it's not as bad as other books that I've read in the past. Like the lore, I've read smaller text. Ooh. And then the next three books that are on the list right after that are these three. I have the po two poetic edit books, one for the um, mythological poems and one for the heroic poems. So, And then I also have the prose edda, which is going to be great to read. And then I also have a fourth one that's right after it called edda. It's, uh, it's actually different and I've already on my bookmark in there, so. <laughs> Which I should actually put in a different book right now because that's not going to be what I'm reading. And then I need, and then I have this on the list, which is the one that's colored in on here. Saga of the Wilsons. That was an easy read. That was easy because it's so small. And I've already read it. And then I have to put these on there and color them. Cuck. La la la, color them in because I've read them several times and referenced them. Um, I've never written down them as references, but like I reference them in my practice very often because these these two books help me work on my psychic stuff. So mainly, I use them to create my psychic realm, which I talk about in a lot of my um, uh, blog posts. So, that is probably something I should write down the list. And then I also need to add this book on there, which I picked up at um, ASU 
a few months ago. I haven't started it yet because I'm having a block right now, which is because of this other book that I need to add on the list, which is, oh wait, it's already on the list. There's the last one on the page right now. It's this book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, which I'm actually quite a bit into it already. And I am taking notes on it too. So these are my notes so far. I've posted both of, both of these pages onto my Instagram, I think. And if I haven't, they're also on my WordPress. But these are my notes so far. Very pretty, very colorful. I've also done a little bit of art on there, some washi tape. And I did some fancy lettering up here at the start. And I do cursive for the, for the t t titles of the chapters. <laughs> can't speak today it seems but that's all I've done so far and I plan on doing the third page later tonight just to because it's been a few days since I did a last page so but yes I use master left gems these things are incredibly expensive and I can barely afford them but they're also incredibly useful and I found them very very handy so far and where the heck is my bookmark on this oh it's not my meditation I have little meditation logs that I do, but I've only done one so far. Despite having meditated a lot more than just once. I'm actually... Oh yeah, that's the back of my thing here. Or one of my things. I was making stars out of these papers, and I lost... The pa I thought I lost the papers, but... I'm gonna pull these out. Yeah, I make the... I, I've shown it on my Instagram a few times, I think. Or if I haven't, I will one day. Um, I have a little cup of stars on my... On my bookcase over there. And I make paper stars. So, that's fun. I forgot I had that. But this is going into the back of my... Of one of my master lectures here. So I have two master lectures, which are in use very wonderfully. And then I also have this tiny one that I use for my bullet journal, which is currently right here. Very pretty. I love my bullet journal so much. And that's that. Now, on to my normal stuff. My crochet. I've made some progress on the shawl that I've been working on. Like, I know it doesn't look very interesting right now, but this is just the beginning of the pattern. There's just like over 100 rows, and I'm only on like row 5. <laughs> and then I've also been working on this, and I'm still, I'm about to start my super secret project, so I'm just gonna roll a few balls of yarn, and pull up my granny, my new granny square, um, pattern, and get to work on that, so, I've not made much progress on the basket weave, I'm gonna set that aside for a while, because that is now, that has officially become a personal project, and does not matter as much as my other stuff, so, that said, I'm going to start my super secret gift project because technically, technically, it's going to be a gift for somebody. I'm not saying who or for what, but it is. It's super secret. <laughs> it's, it has a lot of green. That's all I can say right now. I can't do any. I can't show anything until I have the squares or some at least one square showed. So. I'll probably start that tonight, and you'll see something in my next vlog about it, and I I think that's it for the day. I, I definitely think that's it. So, if you're interested in supporting me and seeing more of my crochet stuff, like more shawls, especially once I get further into it, I can't wait to see what the border looks like, because I saw other the pattern I looked ahead, of course, and I am confused. I'll see how it works in the end. It always works out in the end. So, it's nothing like my other shawl. And then my basket weave, this one right here, is being put on hold. And then I have this one, which is really turning out to be pretty. I think this is turning into a baby blanket. And it definitely has to be washed in the end. So, with that, I've given out my reading list for all the things I, sh I, I would like to read. And all the things that I am currently reading, aka this. So... Let's better myself so I can better my path, and also get more knowledge into my little brain here. <laughs> and as always, if you want to see more of my stuff, 
if you want to see more projects being put out, support me on Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.